Hi, it's Damien from Financial Basics Foundation here. In this video, we're going to show you how to play the easy money game. For ease of navigation, this video is broken into chapters. You can find these chapters as breaks with text descriptions in the playback line on the YouTube video, or as clickable links in the video description text. If you are looking for something specific, please check the chapters to jump directly to the section you want. So let's get started. First, you need your Easy Money Game link from your teacher. They may have sent this to you via email, Google Classroom, saved it in a class OneNote, or used some other method. If you haven't received your class link, pause this video and check with your teacher where to find it. When you click on your class Easy Money Game link, you'll be taken to the login screen. If this is your first time logging into the game, you will need to click on Create Account. When creating your account, you need to complete each field. First name, school email address. Make sure you type this email address correctly or you will not receive password reset links via email if you happen to forget your password. Year of birth. Remember, this is year of birth only. Password. Confirmation of your password. Gender. Once you have completed this form successfully, press the Create Account button. Once you have an account, simply log in with your Easy Money Game email address and password. Please note, if you already have an Easy Money Game login that you may have forgotten about, the game will let you know when you try to register. If this happens, simply select Forgotten Password and follow the prompts. Password reset instructions will be emailed to you within 10 minutes. And if these do not arrive, please let your teacher know as they may need to contact us for further assistance. The Easy Money Game database is wiped at the end of each school year, so even if you have played in previous years, you may need to create a new account to play the game. When you log in to your class Easy Money Game, you have three options. Option 1. If you've previously started a game in this class, you can choose to continue playing it. Option 2. If you've previously finished a game in this class, you can choose to view your end game balance sheet as well as download your printable Easy Money Gameplay Certificate. Option 3. You can start a new game. You have up to 5 new games per class link supplied by your teacher or teachers. Note: If you are playing Easy Money with multiple teachers or in multiple classes, your login details will be the same in all of those classes. Just make sure you load the correct game link when it comes time to play. Your teacher had two choices when they set your class up to play Easy Money. They chose either to have you play Easy Money Standard or Easy Money Plus. They both look the same, however Easy Money Plus provides some more challenging financial decisions and includes shares into the game. Please note that from this point onward, this tutorial will use example video and imagery from a game of Easy Money Plus. When you load a new game for the first time, by selecting New Game and pressing Go, you will be greeted by Hal. He will pop up throughout the game to help you out with helpful tips and advice. If you happen to miss or close his messages, you can find them in the Help and FAQ links. To get the best score possible, you should open and check every app in every week of the game. Within each app, you have decisions to make, and lots of opportunities to increase your net worth. The smart way to play is to read the fine print, look out for help or advice from Hal, and think carefully before you make your decisions. Every decision has a consequence. Your game score is known as your net position. In money terms, net position is figured out by calculating the total value of the items you own that have monetary value, known as assets, and removing from this the total of your liabilities. Or money that you owe. You don't have to play an entire game of easy money all at once. You can save and exit at any time. Make sure you check every app every week before you hit the finish the week button. When you select finish the week, the game itself will apply all your decisions and move you to the following week. Once you press this button, there is no going back. If there are any compulsory tasks or decisions to make in any given week, 
the game will alert you to complete them before allowing you to finish the week. For example, as you can see on the screen, you will not be able to move past week one until you open a bank account. This is indicated to the player with a red exclamation mark on the My Bank app. We will work through each of the game apps now. For the purpose of this video, options chosen and decisions made will be at random. You will need to consider the information available in game to make your own decisions and realize your best outcome. Remember, you can play more than one game and learn from both your successes and failures. Always check your email before starting the week's play for important offers, updates, bills, and other information. When you start Easy Money, you are allocated a mobile phone, home phone, and internet plan. Bills for these services, as well as others, will appear in the email app periodically and will need to be managed throughout the game. The MyBank app provides you with instant access to your FBF bank transactions and savings accounts, as well as investments. Use the app to open transaction accounts, savings accounts, or fixed term deposits, as well as transfer your money between your accounts. Your superannuation account can also be found in the MyBank investments area. While you are in the MyBank app, you can also check your transactions for each of your accounts. Just like in the real world, it's always a good idea to make sure that you have been paid correctly and check your payslip, available in the email app, to confirm that the required amount has been deposited into your transaction and superannuation accounts. When opening accounts, you will notice that some accounts have a variety of options, including fees, charges, interest rates, and bonus interest conditions. Read these carefully to maximise the benefit to your net position of any account you choose. Just like in the real world, you will receive a variety of different types of text messages in the Messages app. Be sure to check it regularly. The Weekly Planner app has two functions. Firstly, it's a budgeting tool which allows you to keep track of your money. You can plan how to spend, save and invest the money that you earn. Secondly, it's an in-game diary that you use to respond to weekly reflection questions and record your ideas and strategies. You can also view any diary entries you have made in previous weeks. Note, the weekly planner does not automatically apply the plan you develop. That is up to you to do. The sliders also reset their position each week, so if you want to keep a copy of your plan, you will need to use a screen capture tool to do so. Any cash you receive when playing Easy Money goes into the My Cash app. Each game you play comes with some cash already in your cash box. As you saw when we looked at the My Bank app, you'll need this cash in week one to open a bank account. Cash can come from a variety of sources, so be sure to check your balance regularly and decide whether you want to keep your money in your cash box or move it to a different location. The My Credit app provides you with the credit card choices available within Easy Money. This app is where you apply for and then check what's happening with your credit card. You can also view your monthly statements and make a payment. The My Stuff app is where you see all the personal possessions you own in the game. You begin each game with free My Stuff and you can buy more stuff on Ushop and iBuy. You can also sell your stuff on iBuy. Job Finder is the Easy Money game employment site. Whether you are searching for your very first job or are looking to improve your current salary and career path, you should check this app each in-game week for the latest advertised job offers. Be sure to pay attention to the prerequisites for each job. You can only apply for a maximum of one job each game week, so make them count. Ushop is Easy Money's online shopping platform. Items for sale change each week, so check regularly to see what's available. You can pay for items with your credit card or transaction account. Use the iBuy app to buy or sell secondhand items online. You can either buy an item outright for a set price, or you may prefer to try your luck and submit a bid for auction to see if you can get it even cheaper. You can pay for items with your credit card or transaction account. The items for sale change each week, so keep an eye out for what's available. Do you have something you don't need? Use iBuy to turn unwanted goods into cash. 
iBuy is also the place to go if you have listed some of your stuff for sale and have changed your mind and want to cancel the sale listing. Each week, the in-game online newspaper, Finance Weekly, publishes an informative article on a financial topic critical to the game. Read each article carefully as most articles include strategies you can use in the game. You can also answer questions about the article to earn extra money. If you are playing Easy Money Plus, you'll have access to the Shares app. Use this app to invest in the in-game share market. You can update your portfolio by buying and selling shares at any time. You can purchase shares with your credit card or transaction account. Information on risk and past performance is available to help you make your decisions. 10% brokerage fees are payable on all shares transactions. Check the app at any time to see the current value of your portfolio. As you finish each week, you will sometimes receive a bonus question. Pay careful attention to these as every correct response wins you some extra cash. Once you complete 26 weeks of gameplay, you finish off your game by completing one final brief quiz. This quiz earns you extra in-game cash on some questions, and once it is answered, easy money will generate your certificate of completion. So, in closing, log in to the easy money game using the link provided by your teacher. Each in-game week, check every app, think through your financial decisions, and reflect on your successes and mistakes. You can play up to five games for each link provided by your teacher. If you need to reset your password, wait up to 10 minutes for the password reset email to arrive. If it doesn't arrive in that time frame, see your teacher for further assistance. Finally, remember to complete the end of game quiz to finish your game and generate your end of game summary and certificate of completion. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions that your teacher is unable to answer, please contact us or leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you are notified of future updates and hit the like button if this video helped you out. You can also connect with us on Twitter and Facebook.